look over there. This is manta ray. Manta rays also swim by moving their wings up and down, like birds in flight. These wing-shaped fins help them explore the waters and also help in finding food. He has a pair of horn. There is an octopus. Octopuses are mollusks belonging to the Cephalopoda class. They have eight arms and are often known for their intelligence and ability to change skin color to adapt to the environment. This is dolphin. The behavior often carried out by dolphins in the waters of Lavina Beach is traveling or forming groups in search of prey and movement for migration. Other movements observed are aerials which are somersaults, spinning and turning before entering the water. He's a smart animal. This is a decapodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. There is a jellyfish. Jellyfish can eat many different prey, such as planktonic eggs, small plants, small fish, larvae, fish eggs, and other small marine animals. Apart from that, Jellyfish are also prey for several other marine animals and even humans. This is a hermit crab. The hermit crab will shed its old shell and make its body unable to move for some time, as if it were dead. Even though they are small, hermit crabs actually have quite a long lifespan, you know. Hermit crabs in the wild can live for 30 years. This is a dugong. The dugong is not a fish, but one of 35 types of marine mammals in Indonesia with the scientific name dugong dugan. The term dugong itself comes from the Filipino language, Tagalog. Well guys, look. This is a blue spotted ray. The blue spots are meant to tell predators and other animals to stay away. If cornered they can lash out with the poison barb at the end of their tails, and that venom can prove fatal to many species, including humans. This is puffer fish. There are various types of puffer fish, some are small, some are large, some have long spines, some are short. Small puffer fish can be kept together with other types of fish. There is a clownfish. The peacock clownfish is a tropical marine fish found in the shallow water reefs and sheltered lagoons up to a depth of 15 feet. They grow to 2 to 5 inches and are known for their special relationship with the sea anemone. There is lobster. Lobsters are nocturnal animals that are sensitive to light. So when lobsters are in low light intensity conditions, they will move more actively and allow more interactions with other lobsters rather than staying still and hiding in shelters. Wow, this is starfish. Starfish are invertebrates that belong to the phylum Echinodermida and belong to the class Asteroidea. This marine animal is a source of bioactive compounds and has antioxidant, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory activity and many more. This is garfish. Alligator fish can grow up to 3 meters long and weigh up to 350 pounds. This fish, which has the scientific name Spatula atractosteus, has nothing to do with alligators. This is Gurnard fish. Gurnards are a lean, firm, white-fleshed, prehistoric-looking fish who belong to a species known collectively as Trigliidae. Gurnards are bottom-dwelling coastal fish with a spiny armored head and finger like pectoral fins used for crawling along the sea bottom. Well guys, look. There is spotted eagle ray. Spotted eagle rays reproduce ovoviviparously. The eggs are deposited inside the female's body and hatch inside, feeding on the yolk sac until she is born. This is a moray eel. 
Moray eels also have mucus like other eels, in some types of moray, the mucus contains poison. Moray eels have thicker skin with high density. This is Gulper eel. Gulper eels have tiny eyes, which is unusual for deep sea creatures. Bioluminescence might also be used to attract a mate. Scientists believe gulper eels die soon after mating. There is a stingray. Stingrays are marine animals that are flat and flat. Wide fins stretch along the body like wings. This fish also has a sharp spine with barbed edges and a tapered tail that resembles a whip. This is squid. Squid are a group of large cephalopod animals, including one of the animals in the invertebrate group, not having backbones. Cephalopod in Greek means head foot, this is because the legs are separated into a number of arms that encircle the head. There is crab. Crabs are not predators, so they don't need to move quickly to catch prey. To protect themselves, crabs only need to bury themselves in mud or sand. This is Ammonite. Ammonites were the predators of their time, feeding on most living marine creatures including mollusks, fish, and even other cephalopods. By analogy to modern cephalopods, their method of attack probably consisted of silently stalking their prey, then rapidly extending their tentacles to grasp the target. Well guys, look! This is mouth bass. Large mouth bass is a highly adaptive fish and can be found in a variety of freshwater habitats, including lakes, rivers, and swamps. However, this fish prefers habitats that have dense vegetation. This is blue whale. The bite force was about 41,000 lbf, which leaves Predator X in the dust at 33,000 lbf. It was more massive than Predator X, had a more powerful bite, had serrated teeth which were perfect for slicing. This is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurs evolved around 100 million years ago, and diversified by 66 million years ago. This sea monster is thought to have become extinct and a giant asteroid hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, plunging the world into darkness. This is Lemon Shark. The favorite habitat for lemon sharks is sandy waters with a depth that tends to be shallow. Apart from that, even if forced to move, lemon sharks will definitely prefer to be around coral reef areas. This is Hammerhead Shark. Hammerhead sharks are one of the predators that rely on electricity to detect their prey. The use of electricity allows the hammerhead shark to attack repeatedly even if its vision is obscured by blood or mud. Thank you for watching guys, see you next video.